with a biplanar fluoroscopic technique for access to a posterior calyx with cephalocaudal C-arm rotation, the image intensifier is set initially in the vertical position. This provides a perpendicular view of the needle. The C-arm image intensifier is repositioned 30 degrees from the vertical position towards the head for an oblique view. This gives a side view of the needle rather than a view from above. We will demonstrate this technique in a Hosu kidney. The first puncture in an upper pole calyx is performed by moving the C-arm in a cephalic direction, while a second puncture in a lower pole calyx by moving the C-arm in a caudal direction. The tip of the needle points to a posterior calyx filled with air. With the C-arm at 90 degrees, the needle is advanced 2 to 3 cm into the patient's body, heading to the desired calyx. What it is not known at this moment is whether the needle is above or below the calyx. The C-arm image intensifier is repositioned 30 degrees from the vertical position towards the head for an oblique view. Turning the C-arm back at 90 degrees confirms the appropriate needle position. The insertion of the glide wire down to the pelvis and ureter confirms the proper entrance into the collecting system. In the second puncture, the C-arm is again initially positioned at 90 degrees with the needle pointing to the calyx. Again, what it is not known is whether the needle is above or below the calyx. The C-arm is repositioned 30 degrees towards the feet of the patient and the calyx is punctured. When the needle is in the calyx in both 90 and 30 degrees, we confirm the correct puncture. Following the efflux of clear urine, a glide wire is inserted into the system. To better demonstrate the technique, we put a separate needle to the patient's skin at the level of the calyx. This means that the needle is superficial to the calyx. When the C-arm is turned towards the feet, the screen shows the needle moving towards the head. When the C-arm is turned towards the head, the needle is moving towards the feet. In both situations, the needle is superficial to the calyx.